Can we talk about your podcast for a second? Please, yeah. Curious questions with Ricky Williams. Yes. Why a podcast? <laughs> you launch it February 3rd. Why now? And what is Curious Questions with Ricky Williams? Yeah, so, okay. So I, I launched it now because, you know, I've been thinking about doing a podcast for a long time, just just to talk, just to get my thoughts out in the, in the world. And and I kind of went back and forth. I, you know, I don't want to do just a regular get on and interview people. I want to bring more of, of myself to it. And then the idea came, you know, what if I found a way to integrate astrology into the podcast? Uh, and, I, and I started talking to my daughter, my oldest daughter, Marley, about it. And, and she came up with this whole, like, you know, 12 page report about what she, how she thinks I should do it. And so I kind of was flipping through it and I was like, this is really good. And so I, I reached out to uh, Cast Media and we sat down and kind of talked through the concept and they were interested and, and willing to, to test it out and see how it goes. And so the concept is I have a guest on, they send me their birth information. I put it in my computer and it prints out their birth chart. And because I've been studying this for almost 20 years, I know how to interpret a chart. And so I look at the chart and I, and I pull, you know, interesting combinations out and then I use it to inform the questions I ask, uh, I ask my guests. And the idea is because I'm looking at a chart, which kind of shows you what's going on inside of someone, that it gives me access to questions and parts of that person that, they, that they've never, you know, talked about publicly. Uh, and so, you know, I'm, I'm part astrologer, part detective, part uh, interviewer. And, uh, and it's, it's been really interesting because, you know, depending on one, how open the guest is, how you know, comfortable with astrology they are, uh, and then how, how well I do getting them comfortable during the interview, there's different depths um, that, that the interviews um, get to. But, uh, but I, I have a good time and it's interesting sharing my astrological knowledge with people, but I, I'm, what I'm realizing, you know, something I, I didn't expect is I'm learning so much um, about astrology, but, but also about you know, myself and the guests that come on. You know, astrology, many people don't believe in it. Uh, many people question, you know, or is this just something cute and it's, it's fun to know, okay, this is my sign and uh, this is what they say my traits are. You really are into astrology. Uh, what do you find about astrology is so curious, for lack of a better word? What has sucked you in? Because it, it, it helps you make sense of things that don't make sense to you. You know, so give me so, an idea. So, so I, I was playing golf the other day and the guy I was playing with, we had a similar conversation. And he, he said, you know, he said, he said, well, what's like been like the, the biggest revelation that you've received about yourself uh, from astrology? OK. And, and part of astrology is it gives you the ability to go forward in time and to go back in time and to understand those periods of time from an astrological perspective. OK. And so as soon as I became proficient enough in astrology to understand how to use it, I, I was curious about this time 2004. OK, 2004, there's all this crazy stuff going on in, in my life. OK, and, and we've talked about all these ups and downs. So I'm curious, right? Once I understand the astrological language to look back at these times and to see what does the astrology say? And it's 100 percent smack dead on to where when I started reading astrology and looking back at these times, all of uh, not all of but a large majority of the guilt and the shame it disappeared because i understood it from a, a a higher perspective of how does this fit into the grand scheme of things and it made sense okay so so the planet i'll give you a, an example okay the planet uranus okay planets in astrology represent parts of ourself that need to be developed okay and we use 10 planets so we're saying there's 10 parts of ourselves okay and Uranus is a part of ourself that's responsible for breaking free, okay? Breaking free of any kind of limit, limiting rules, either limiting rules that other people put on us or limiting rules that we put on ourselves, right? That because I'm a guy, I can't do this. Or because I'm black, I can't, right? All of these are like the limiting rules that we box ourselves in from, right? And it, we can't live our lives if we're, if we're bound in like this. So we all need the part of ourselves that, that questions authority, that rebels, that breaks free, okay? And so this planet, whenever it moves in the chart and it hits something in our chart, it activates, it activates that. And so this time in my life where I walked away from football, 
I was trying to fit myself into a box that I didn't fit into, okay? And so when I look back at that time from that perspective, like I said, it made sense, okay? It made sense. And it's not just that one time. As I looked at these major shifts in my life, at my life from an astrological lens, they just made more sense. And I could understand, oh, this is why I had to go through that experience. And this is how it connects to what I'm doing right now. And so astrology gives us the ability to connect the dots.